December 1773. The Boston Gazette breaks another story that will fan the flames of rebellion. The rising tide of anger and resentment forces England's hand. They repeal all taxes, except one on tea. It's not enough. In one of the most famous acts of resistance in American history, rebels dump over one million dollars worth of tea in Boston Harbor. When someone comes along uh, and smacks us, we don't turn the other cheek. <laughs> That's not who we are. The British respond by shutting down Boston Harbor. One of America's busiest, wealthiest ports. Come on, lad. Hundreds lose their jobs. Come on, lad. The British mean to strangle any resistance from the rebellious colony of Massachusetts. America is about to change forever. Tensions escalate far beyond Boston. Settlers are pushing west. Many have their eyes set on new land west of the Appalachians. But to protect Native American lands, England has banned settlements along a boundary called the Proclamation Line. Hundreds are evicted from their homes on the frontier. September 5th, 1774. We want liberty. Incensed at the British actions, 56 delegates from across the colonies gather at the first Continental Congress in Philadelphia. It's the first step on the road to American democracy. Among them are John Adams, Patrick Henry, and a gentleman landowner from Virginia named George Washington. At a time when our lordly masters in Great Britain will be satisfied with nothing less than the deprivation of American freedom, it seems highly necessary that something should be done to maintain liberty. Across New England, people prepare to defend themselves. Smuggled arms are collected and stashed in secret hideaways. But while many expect conflict, most delegates in Philadelphia want peace with Britain. A military action would make a wound that would never be healed. That's good. Have all day. Let's go. Come on. The First Continental Congress resolves that a British attack on any one colony would be regarded as an attack on all of them. Let's go. You can at the front. What emerges at Philadelphia is solidarity. The distinctions between Virginians, Pennsylvanians, New Englanders, and New Yorkers are no more. I'm not a Virginian. I am an American. The future of the 13 American colonies hangs in the balance.